Hello everyone, this is Bentley, and today we're going to take a really short video. Uh, recently I went to ReefWorks, which is a small convention in Frag Swap. Wait a minute, saltwater? Saltwater? Yeah, saltwater. Uh, I actually really like saltwater, I just know that the things I like the most about saltwater cost probably way more than I want to dive into at this point in time. So what I'll do is I'll go to like a saltwater store every once in a while, I'll just look at all the things and be like, oh it's so pretty, oh it's so pretty. And then, and then I'll step out and be like, man, it's a good thing I don't buy that because just that one little coral frag that's about the size of a quarter costs $75, <laughs> uh, which I I love anemones and like all the softy type corals. I love the way they look, the way they move, all those things. And I know that they're a pain in the butt. Although uh, Rogue Aquariums, Darren, if you're watching, I know, I know, I know you got a standing offer whenever I decide to bite that bullet. I'll be talking to you first, my friend. Um, so I went to ReefWorks. I shot a little bit of footage. I actually spent a ton of time at ReefWorks just talking to people. Um, and to my detriment, it meant that I didn't film as much as I should have. So when I did go around filming, I, I was kind of in a rush and I realized that like I brought the, the wrong equipment. I brought my phone. I should have been using my DSLR because I would have been able to capture the color a little better. So there's going to be some shots that are a little washed out with just the attenic blue light because my phone does not adjust to that light very well. And it was kind of like finding the perfect angle to see it right. Um, and I forgot a little filter that helps fix that problem. But uh, one of the coolest things there was these uh, long fin clownfish. And I, I just, I've never seen them before. I, I like clowns. I think they're one of the few fish that I really like in saltwater that isn't like a big fish like an angel or some of the saltwater angels. And I've never seen these before, but it reminds me of bettas a lot and like, a crazy pattern betta and Dean and I were even commenting on this as we talked. Um, and you know, I spent a lot of time talking to Corey from aquarium co-op, uh, Joel from Corvus Oskin, Randy Reed of the Aquarius podcast, uh, Mike from aqua pros and George from coral fish 12 G. I think that's right. I think that's right. I've watched his channel a few times here and there. I love his like little seahorse gags, but he was there. Uh, and it was, it was pretty sweet getting to meet him because I didn't think I would meet him unless I went to like an aqua shallow, but here he was right in my backyard in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, so let's jump into a little bit of footage, let you see some of the stuff, like the frags and, and these really cool clownfish, and then uh, we'll come back to my smiling face.
Well, there you go, guys. There's a short little video, just a little bit walking around ReefWorks. Um, it's a super fun event. I got to meet um, a couple of, of folks. Uh, you guys know who you are. Shut you up. One of you did not even tell me who you were until after the, you left. Then Corey had to be like, oh, yeah, that was this person. <laughs> But we had like a 45 minute conversation about um, like the power outage that hit me and rainbow fish breeding and all sorts of stuff. Um, so it was absolutely blast. You know, it's it's very humbling to meet people who, uh, you know, have watched my content at any moment of time and get to sit and have a conversation with people who, you know, normally I didn't think I would ever meet. Uh, so eventually i probably have to find my way out to something like aquatic experience or aquashella probably can't do it this year it's just not in my budget um the only thing i'm doing and again because it's right here in my backyard is going to be aga so for those of you who are even contemplating aga i don't know what i can tell you to go i had a ton of blasts at a saltwater convention where the only freshwater stuff were guys sitting there talking there's no freshwater displays whatsoever but i finally got a red co-op shirt so i have one of the red shirts um, but I probably will never wear it because I look horrible in red. You guys can see like my skin tone is already pretty pink. I look like the Kool-Aid man in a red shirt. It's bad. <laughs> so I probably won't ever wear it. But, um, you know, I, I think I'm going to turn it into kind of like a poster in my house at some point. Um, using like a shadow box or something like that. Or that are like my girlfriend to wear it, something like that. <laughs> but, um, you know, I got an awesome time just hanging out, BSing with people. Got to look at some corals. And despite the fact that I don't keep salt water, sometimes it's really cool to look at the other side of our hobby so if you're a saltwater guy like go check out freshwater people every once in a while if there's a freshwater convention near you or like a me maybe even just a meeting for a, a club go check it out you never know you might find something that inspires you i think the thing that i thought was the coolest there that i didn't film was sitting and talking with uh it's a crystal reef aquatics or something like that where they do custom sumps and we were talking about like some sump design stuff that actually led me to go home uh, pick up a piece of drafting paper and do some minor drafting <laughs> and like plan out a sump in my head if I was going to custom build a sump and how I would put things into it and like some ideas that have come from conversations between me and Dean, which Master Breeder Dean was also there. Um, and Darren, Darren, of course, I mentioned earlier from Rogue Aquariums, he was there, had a nice long conversation with him. Good guy. I met him at last year's ReefWorks. Um, and when uh, when Dustin was up here doing the aquascaping competition, if you guys remember that video, I'll, I'll link it down below just so you can see that. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun. Absolute blast. And um, a huge shout out to the folks at like Fritz for just like putting on a little show like that and really diving in at like a local level to help support this hobby and kind of grow it a little more. It wasn't um, Fritz as a company. It was some of the people who work for Fritz. So like Sean Hale, who uh, Randy Reed has interviewed, was a big organizer in helping get this orchestrated and set up. Um, all sorts of like cool stuff. And I, you'll notice in the footage, I panned to a lot of the name tags for some of the people I've seen because they wanted to highlight those businesses because it's cool to see that many businesses pile together and kind of make a small convention, even if it's just for one day, to support the hobby anywhere. And I would love to see more things like that happening. And eventually, like events like that are going to make me want to go to like, I would love to go to Aquashella Dallas. It's just, I can't afford that right now. But I think, uh, you know, it's going to be one of those things where like my goal will probably next year would be like, Try to get make it to either Aquashell or Aquatic Experience and get that opportunity to maybe meet some more of you folks. Because just the opportunity to talk to, um, you know, I think three people that actually knew who I was, which was kind of crazy. Other than like the co-op crew who knows me pretty well. Um, the opportunity to sit and talk with them uh, was just super humbling. And even if it was just like getting rapid fire questions for you know 45 minutes, I loved every minute of it. And I lost a lot of time. And then all of a sudden at the end, I'm like, oh, man, I, I need to film while I'm here. <laughs> I need to walk around and check stuff out. Like, you know, half the, half the coral vendors were like, oh, yeah, we've already broke down one tank. We've only got this tank left or something like that. It's like, well, at least you guys are doing good business. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I hope you liked that little peek into the thing. If you're going to AGA, comment down below. Let me know that you're going to AGA. I definitely want to see you guys there. I want to have an opportunity to talk with each and every one of you. I'm going to make myself completely available. I'm not going to any workshops. Um, I just want to be there and have some fun and talk. I'm doing some volunteer work there, here and there, depending on what my club needs. But my goal is to be available, to be, you can barrage questions at me for like an hour. I don't care. I just want to have fun, meet some of you folks, and relax and enjoy time with a bunch of fish nerds. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and stay awesome.